My name is Oliver Beer. The piece is called Household Gods and it's on display at Mirror in Plymouth as part of the British Art Show. What we're looking at is a series of objects that I've collected from female members of my family, my grandmother, my mum and my, and my sister. And every object's got its own geometry and just like a, a seashell, which is an empty space, all these empty volumes have got their own musical notes as well. Each of them has got a microphone inside. The microphone is attached to a little mixer inside the, the plinths. And when you turn on the mic, you can hear that resonance immediately. You know, these objects are really personal. There is that element of catharsis and closure and dealing with the grief of, of, of losing someone. You know, we all spend our lives accumulating stuff, objects, investing it with meaning. And when someone dies, you're left with this kind of hollow trace of, of, of their life, where they used to exist and how they constructed their world materially. On a very personal level, like that kind of interrelational, personal, intimate, uh, family care is like a really important part of this, this work. There's an artillery shell that my grandma used to put her walking sticks in. She had many walking sticks. She lived really old. There's a, a really small um, Etruscan sculpture of a womb. And that really was a, a household god. It's when you had something wrong with you, you'd make a sculpture of it. There's the remnants of a chimney pot, which supposedly came from the Palace of Westminster when it was burnt down. I don't know if that's true, but inside the chimney pot, you can see the finger marks of the children who would have worked in the factory that made the chimney pot. They are mostly very humble objects that my family owned. So my grandma's rice cooker, for example. It's, it's very hard to own anything and to collect anything without there being this incredibly dense uh, series of, of stories, of references, the, the fact that an object survives through several centuries or several decades means it's gone through often very difficult histories of, of ownership, of commerce. If you take an object like porcelain, there's probably some imperial history that's actually brought it to us in the West from China, uh, from uh, originally from Iran, you know, where these pigments and ceramics first, first were invented. When you're in here, and the music's playing. The sound is coming straight out of the objects and there's something really viscerally moving to hear the sound of an object that has been singing, whether it's been singing for decades or for millennia in some cases. There is a really beautiful kind of animistic, visceral music that comes out of them. And I hope people will just in part enjoy bathing in that very pure sound.